Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about a fantastic AI tool that's actually blowing my mind and I'm not that easily impressed anymore at the number of tools and functionalities that have been released but this one has completely blown my mind. So if you're interested in finding more about Napkin AI then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've been exploring Napkin AI, which is actually in the beta version and free at the moment for everybody. And this tool has absolutely blown my mind. So let me move myself out of the way and then show you how I've been using this. So I used a large language model, Claude Sonnet in this case, to talk about the connections between how we can use AI to develop the approaches to learning skills from the IB. And I wanted different subject area examples. So I've copied and pasted what Claude has given me, and this is basically AI tools can significantly enhance the development of AI approaches, but this is already made. So let me go to a new napkin and then show you how I did it. So here I'm going to go to a blank napkin, and here this is going to be my test. And then here I'm gonna to go to my Claude 3.5 sonnet and copy and paste what it generated when I said, how might AI tools enhance the IB's ATL skills development in different subject areas. So coming back here, I'm just gonna copy and paste that. So this is what you saw just before. And then you're gonna see these little lightning bolts before each of these sections. And let's go to the mathematics one. We can of course edit this. So I didn't edit it. I'm just demonstrating to you now how quick it is, but of course we should edit this. So in maths, thinking skills, using adaptive problem solving platforms, communication skills here, self-management skills. It's got some different examples. So when you press the lightning bolt, I'm gonna move myself over to this side so you can actually see, oh, it's gonna be quite amazing. So clicking on here, it's doing its magic now. And look at all the different, I'm gonna scroll down, look at all the different graphics that's come up with the three suggestions on how we can develop the approaches to learning skills using AI. Here, this is a very basic diagram, just looking at three different approaches to learning skills. But here, this diagram I quite like because it actually gives us the detail of how AI tools can develop those different approaches to learning skills. Here is a triangle, here is a little lock, here is another diagram. So you can choose any of them. I'm gonna choose this one because I like the detail and then see how you can actually make them different colors and you can edit them in different ways. Uh, you can actually even edit um, the content and look at different colors. You can look at different icons. So here's a different icon here that I'm gonna use. They're all bespoke. So everything is editable. You can download this and then just put it into your presentation. I mean, this is phenomenal. This is blowing my mind. <laughs> Now let's have a look at another example. So we've got individuals and societies, research skills, AI assisted data analysis, and then we've got social skills and we've got communication skills. Okay, so let's just click on this lightning bolt on napkin. This is truly blowing my mind. A few seconds and then here all the other different visuals. I mean, in the past, my infographics used to take me hours to put together not just the colors, and, and I would use templates. So I use templates normally from Canva, but this actually takes the information and creates a graphic for you. Uh, I think I like this one because it's got the details here. So for individuals and societies, and of course I can edit the content, edit the colors, look down here if I have brand colors that I wanna use or the school's colors that I wanna use. Uh, I think I like, Let's just go for something simple like this. And then I can actually start editing the content of this. And I can down and then I can download. So when I download, here are the choices. I can have color mode. So I need to um, upgrade for the color mode. I can I download as a PNG file. I can have the background on resolution, or I can just put it on my clipboard and copy and paste it. Wow, napkin, this is absolutely phenomenal and a real game changer for me. I think that using visuals and visual communication is so important to help us convey some really complex concepts and ideas. 
And whether it's for to students or to teachers, this will really help us to share ideas in a visual format in a matter of seconds. So I invite you to try Napkin AI if you haven't. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.